Okay, parallelograms and rhombuses. Now remember, rhombus is like a square on its side and a parallelogram is like a rectangle on its side. So all these sides would be the same, these two would be the same size and these two would be the same size. Now with this one, we've got a little bit of a trick. Now the opposite angles are equal. So B would equal 123. These opposite two angles would be equal. So if 5X is equal to 50, X is equal to 10. So what we then know is if these two are 100 between them and it's 360 altogether, 360 take 100 equals 250. If we divide that by two, we know that that one would be 125 and that one would be 125. So we know that Y add X is 125. If we know that X is 10, then Y has to be 105 when X is 10. We just substitute that in, so Y has to be 105.